What's up, what's up? It's your boy Corey B. Good morning, y'all. Oh, man. So, I've been talking a lot about the stock market because the stock market, there's just so much happening right now. And I think it's something that too many people just honestly don't understand enough about it. Um, <laughs> I was listening to a, 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 a great podcast with uh, Dave Ramsey this morning. And it was really cool because Ramsey had a guest and his guest was talking about... Now, I, you know, just to preface this, I think Ramsey's brilliant. I think he's absolutely amazing at what he does. Um, me and uh, I have a little bit different tactics in regards to certain things. But at the end of the day, the man knows what he's talking about. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got nothing but good things to say about the guy. Um, if uh, you're not listening to him, maybe you should be. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, for those of you out there trying to be, um, you know, coaches or consultants or financial advisors, or you're trying to just develop your, you know, trying to develop your um, your following and things like that, man, there's, sometimes people get this idea, it's like, oh, well, why do you say something about this person or that person? And it's like, and some other people get, it's like, oh, well, all you're doing is name dropping. No, that's not it. That's not it. First of all, thing is, is I'm not name dropping because I don't know Ramsey. It's not like he's my homie and me and him were kicking it earlier this morning having brunch. And as we were having some mimosas, we were having a discussion and I was like, and he, and we were sharing information. That's not it at all. I believe in giving credit where it's due. I'm not going to take, golly man, he flies out of Texas, baby. Uh, so uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take credit for something that I didn't say, okay? Um, I believe we all feed off of each other. We all can lift each other up, and we can all learn things from each other. Um, Buffett talks about he re reads like a, a new book like every other week, something like that. Um, and 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 he's reading constantly, learning and developing things. So you should be constantly learning and developing. Um, and there's no shame in putting out the information that you know as yours but there's no there's nothing shameful about putting some information out there that you've gotten from somewhere else just give some credit show some love and some some respect to the people who have influenced you and you know taught you a thing or two okay so the thing that Ramsey said that really grabbed my attention is because they had this guest on there and they were talking the guy was giving him all these stats about the different um, about the market right now and how there was a uh, like they did this poll and there was all these Gen Zers who had um, sold off their stock in the last year and uh, everybody who had sold off their stock within the, uh, 40%, 40% of the people of the, you know, people who've been selling off in the last year are, they regret what they've done. Okay. <laughs> Ramsey's response is pretty simple. I mean, he said, ultimately, that just means the other 60%, either they're not looking at the market right now, they haven't seen what they've done, or they don't really know what they've done. And he also said, it's not just the Gen Zers, it's, it, it, it's it, you don't have to be a Gen Zer to be a dum dumb. It's like, at the end of the day, man, he was talking about how there's, you can look at the statistics, there's people who've sold off their, their pension, their retirement was uh, all heavily invested in stock market. And then when the stock market took a turn, they dumped and ran and ultimately lost a good portion of their retirement and their pension. Um, and it's just, that's just not, that's terrible. Um, the Gen Zers, they have a, they have an opportunity to build more wealth. They have the opportunity to build more income. The people who are... Okay, so the reality is the thing that caught my attention that he said is um, I've been telling all of y'all again and again and again on all the posts. I was like, stop selling, stop selling, stop selling. I was like, right now we're in this, we're in a, de a, a delicate, I say delicate, delicate time. Um, because we're not in a bad time. We're not, everybody thinks we're in a bad time. We're not in a bad time. And um, selling off everything is not going to get you out of a bad time. Even if you believe we are in a bad time, that's not going to fix anything. You buy high, sell low. That doesn't help anybody. Um, the reality is the this is an opportune moment to buy. That's what it is. It's an opportune moment to buy. Everything is literally on sale. I mean, when you're talking about stock market, if you're someone who's a frugal person like, uh, like Buffett or Munger or Ramsey, uh, these guys are people who are well known for being frugal and wise with their money. Okay, if you're someone who cuts coupons 
to save a to get a deal. Now, right now, is your deal that you don't need a coupon. The stock market's on sale. It's on sale. It's discount prices. It's time to buy now. Okay, I've been telling y'all this. I've been telling y'all this, and and some people are taking it, and some people aren't getting it yet. They're not seeing it, and that's okay. If you're not seeing it, that's fine. Ultimately, I hope you're generating wealth somehow. That that doesn't have to be through the stock market. Okay, but the thing that he said, (laughs) he said, first of all, stock market's moving. It's constantly moving. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. He said, you look at people who talk about, oh, back in, you know, Black Monday, back in, you know, back in, hey. Oh, sorry. He's like, you know, you look back, you know, I lost everything I had. You never lost everything you had, never. Not unless you put everything you had into one stock and that, and that, and that company went belly up. You didn't lose everything. You may have lost a lot, but you didn't lose everything. And the reality is, if you look at the stock market, the reality of the stock market is, if you look at it past, over the past four months from January to now, yeah, it's, it's uh, down, I think like 21%, something like that, 21, 20, 22%. Um, so that's not good. Nobody, nobody's happy about it being good. Well, I'm not that upset about it because it's my opportune moment to buy. Uh, Buffett's not upset about it. He's making money. Kiyosaki's making money. This is an opportune moment to buy, 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 buy. You should be making money right now. You won't make money today. You're paying money. You're you're essentially paying to wait. You're going to invest right now so you can wait and get more money later. Okay. Now, with that being said, everybody's looking at it. It's like, it's like, oh, what do I do? But it's like, it's been, it's down 21%. But if you look at it over the last 12 months, you look at a bigger picture here. The last 12 months, it was just so high. It was so high at the end of 2021 that the first quarter of 2022 looks like it's tanking much worse than it is. The last 12 months is down 7%. 7%. 7 7% is not terrible. 7% is not great. Nobody wants to be down 7%. 7% is not that bad, though. Being down 21% sounds scary. Oh, man, we're down 21%. It's a quarter, it's almost a quarter of what I had. It's not that bad. Come on, it's going to be okay. First of all, all, that's the entire stock market. Second of all, all your investments shouldn't be in one company. Third of all, if you've diversified just a little, just a little, I'm a firm believer in like Munger's teaching that if you can get all your money from one basket, then why spread your eggs out? But you got to have at least, at, le- at a minimum, you got to have you got to have more than one. Okay, you got to have more than one. You can't have it all in one because anything can happen. So you don't put everything in one basket. But you don't need 20 baskets either. You know? So. And the stock market goes up and down. And it goes up and down. You ride the wave, man. You ride the wave. When it goes up, you ride. When it goes down, you buy. You keep riding. Man, you ride till the wheels break off. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. You ride. You ride, you ride, you ride. All right. So the key thing that he said that I think was the best analogy I've ever heard is when you ride a roller coaster, the only one who gets hurt is the person who jumps off. Ah, oh, come on now. Come on now. Like I said, it's the same stuff I've been telling you. It's just the way he said it was so beautiful. Only person who gets hurt jump is the one who jumps off. If you stay on the roller coaster, you gonna be all right. If you jump, ooh, that landing ain't gonna be pretty. That landing ain't gonna be pretty. All right. So I've been saying it, and I've been saying it. Stop selling. Bye. This is a buyer's market. Now everybody keeps calling it this is a this is a this is a bear market in the stock market. It's not. That's a mirage. It appears to be a bear market because everybody's selling. Nah, baby. It's a bull market. It's time to buy. It's ripe for the picking, man. Get your hands in there. It's time. Get your hands in there. Get you something. But do some research, man. Don't just buy junk. Don't just, be, oh, well, you know, I just, you know, I think this, no. Mm-mm. I wear Nikes every day. I guess I'll buy Nikes. Okay, well, that's not a bad. I wear it every day. Maybe 
Does anybody else wear it? It's Nikes. Somebody's wearing it. A lot of people wearing it. At the end of the day, have a reason by why you're buying the stock you're buying. Believe in the company. Believe in the business. And if you do, then go get you some money right now. Invest a little bit. Wise words said by so many great investors, don't invest what you can't afford to lose. But don't sit back and hoard your money either. Last big recession that, well, mm, big recession back in the day. Reagan, what did Reagan say? Anybody who don't know, Reagan jumped in and said, the way we're going to fix this is to start spending our money. He said the biggest problem was people were hoarding their dollars. People were terrified of the recession that we were facing. And they were like, well, I don't know. I, I, got, this, I got this little paycheck, right? I don't know if I'm going to see another paycheck. So I got to hold it. I got to hold it. And I got I to gotta save it. And I got to keep it right here. I'm, I'm going to put it in my... I'm not going to put it in my pocket. Because if I put it in my pocket, I might spend it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it away in my mattress. No one ever find it there. Doesn't do you no good. Don't do you no good. Don't do nobody else no good. How do you get your job? How, how, do, you, how do you get paid from your job? You get paid from your job by the consumer. Whatever business you're in, whatever job you're doing, if you work in a restaurant, if you work in a law firm, if you work in a, uh, I mean, even a doctor's office, if there ain't no customers, if there ain't no sick people, if there ain't no clients coming in for regular checkups, if there's nothing coming into your place of business, then you've got no revenue and you've got no money. Whatever you're doing, you need a consumer. Our economic structure is based on a consumer. So if our economic structure is based on a consumer, then that means if you want us to continue to move forward, you gotta be somebody else's consumer. And they gotta be yours. And it's this cycle, keeps going round and round. Oh yeah. All right, you know what, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more later, I don't wanna get too far off topic. Like I said, it's a roller coaster, baby. It's a wave, man, you ride the wave. Stock market's a wave. You ride it. That's a roller coaster. You only get hurt if you jump. All right? Bye. <laughs> bye. The boy said bye. So um, until next time, y'all stay tuned. Let's talk about some more stuff. Y'all leave your comments below. Y'all got tips on the stock market. Y'all got, got some ideas, some thoughts about what's happening. Y'all want to discuss further. Y'all got a different aspect that you'd like me to discuss. Man, leave your comments below. Hit me up. Y'all know how to find me. Email me. Message me. Uh, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, beingcorebayless.com. Y'all know how to find your boy. Subscribe, ding your bell, get your notifications, and I'll talk to y'all later. I got a really cool.